I feel like it's been so long. I spoke to you people one on one like this, and bro, but I'm happy. I'm happy we are having this discussion now. Today it is one of the segments on dear young adults, <laughs> and we already have like ten up. Uh, up. <laughs> We already have like 10 episodes on the channel. So if you have not watched them, if you've not seen them, you're missing a lot. So go and catch up on all of them after you're done watching this. Today, in today's video, what are we going to be talking about? As from the title, you must have seen it, no condemnation. Well, recently on social, on social media, there was a buzz about a lady who posted her, was it wedding photos? And she termed it and said, oh i don't need to be naked to be beautiful and if you see the way <laughs> if you see the way twitter medicines if dragon could kill a person they would have killed that girl that girl but they dragged her they dragged her they dragged her and she's a christian and i know the standpoint she's coming from she's coming from the standpoint of oh like we have to be modest and everything like that but even me myself i made a video on it on instagram i posted it on instagram that video was like seven or nine minutes long because i had a lot to say too i'm going to link that video in the in the description box of this video like people were dragging her and everything because the statement sounded i understand the place me i can see where she's coming from but maybe it, it wasn't it it's not even maybe it wasn't just worded rightly it's just like say it like saying that oh i don't need to steal to eat or i don't need to i don't need to steal to eat it's just like telling that to a hungry person somebody that has gone through life you now come and be telling the person that why are you stealing <laughs> why can't you just go and work and get money and buy food why are you stealing I don't need to steal. That was how it came off. It came off as it came off. It sounded like self righteousness when somebody is proclaiming to be self righteous. That was why the whole backlash came. So now today we are going to talk about like let's talk about sin first of all. What causes people to sin? People sin for different reasons. You may have your reasons. I may have my reasons. But one of the reasons I talked about was temptation. As a child of God, there is no child of God that is comfortable living in sin. There is no child of God with the indwelling Holy Spirit on their inside that would be comfortable living in sin. So now, that being said, you know, the Bible says in Romans 8 verse 1, which is one of the anchor, anchors, <laughs> anchor, anchor scriptures for this video, that there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus who walk like the continuation of the scripture will be on the screen but like there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus so when you see a believer erring when you see a believer going the wrong way or you see them doing things that are not necessarily Christ like not necessarily godly the first thing that you do is not to start saying that, oh, ah, Sister Agnes, Sister Agnes, Sister Agnes, I taught you a preacher. It's not you that every day you used to talk about Jesus, 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 Sister Agnes, why, why, Sister Agnes, why are you doing this? Like, I expect more from you. Those unnecessary, I'm not saying like, of course the Bible says that those who preach the word of God are going to be held to higher standards. And that is perfectly true. But someone shared a scripture in church on Sunday that I love so much. The message version. I wrote it down. Don't worry, guys. I will read it for you people. I will read it. I'm going to read it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Right here. Luke 6, 37, 37 in the message version. This is what it says. Don't pick on people. Jump on their failures. Criticize their, their faults. Unless, of course, you want the same treatment. Don't condemn those who are down. That hardness can boomerang. Are you listening? That hardness can boomerang. And you know, you know Instagram, when it's doing boomerang, it used to do boom, boom. Like, it's going front, it's going back, it's going front, it's going back. 
Ah, in Nigeria, there's one proverb that say, fan, as fan will blow you today, if he blow me tomorrow. You know, turning fan, standing fan, when it's turning like this, when the breeze reach you, you feel nice. But if it's bad breeze that reach you, God forbid, it will not reach you in Jesus' name. But let's continue. Say, be easy on people. You will find life a lot easier. Giving, this is another, this is like the B part. Giving, not getting, is the way generosity begets generosity. Forgiveness begets forgiveness. Non judgmentalness towards your fellow be believer begets non judgmentalness. In quotes, put it inside brackets because I know that that word does not exist. But understand it that the way, like, when you see someone who is a believer, your fellow believer, and you see that person struggling in sin, it is not a time for you. It is not a time for you to stand up and say, I'm saying, but look at me. See them, see them, babies struggling with fornication, struggling with masturbation, struggling with this, and you proclaim to be a believer. Look at me. I don't need to watch porn to be okay. <laughs> that's not the time. And you know, most of the time, see, the problem is that as believers, we don't pray for one another. If you pray for, if we don't pray and we don't love one another enough, if you pray for somebody genuinely, if you love someone genuinely, and you see that person going the wrong way, the first thing that you will do, the very first thing that you will do as a believer is to pray for them. Ah, God, today I saw Sister Agnes. Sister Agnes was in that boy's house, or maybe Sister Agnes was doing something nasty with that boy. Father, I pray for her, that you will give the darkness the grace to stand. When temptation comes her way, you will give her the power to be able to stand firm. That is what a believer does. Should I tell you something? As adults, me and you, we are over 20. Our personalities are already formed. There is nobody that is doing any bad thing. Hear me again. Hear me well. Hear me. There is nobody that is doing something bad, that doesn't know that they are doing something bad. They know! They know just right what they are doing. They know it. They know. So it is not your, your, what is, how is it called? It is not your scolding that will bring them out of it. Do you get me? But your prayers are effective, especially when you're praying with genuine concern you know sometimes we just talk 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 but in a place of prayer we've never really prayed for anybody we just sometimes we see that some people have of course as human beings their character flaws there is nobody that is perfect except that we have been made perfect in christ jesus but we see that we still live flawed lives and let me i, I have a lot of notes here for you people we are gonna go into the Bible. We we gonna go there. Acts thirteen verse thirty nine. The Bible says, "All that believe in Jesus are justified from all things." I want you to take into consideration the word "justified." When the Lord has forgiven somebody, who are you, Sister Fee? Who are you to hold their sins in your hand and condemn them for it? Who are you? Who are you? If God says I have justified this person, you know sometimes as believers I wonder, do you want to take the place of the devil? It is only the devil that accuses the brethren. And if you are accusing the brethren, my dear, that character cannot be of God. Do you know that as a believer, <laughs> oh, gosh, atabayada. do you know that as a believer, the enemy can use you to accuse your fellow believer? If you think it's a lie, ask Peter. Your words, your words, your words, your words, your words, my dear, your words. See, for me, 
you see me every time I come here, I'm sharing. There yeah, are some days I share about the gospel, some days I just ban, some days I just talk about things that really matter. And I've seen that in recent times, people put me on a kind of pedestal that even me myself, I don't see myself as. Like, every day I wake up, I am looking for how to study the Bible. I am looking for how to talk to the Holy Spirit. I'm asking the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, please help me, teach me, help me. I, like, there was, a, there was a point in my life, every single day when I'm praying, I say, God, make my character better. Make my character better make my character better you can pray that prayer too don't say this is how i am don't say this is how i talk don't say it don't say it. don't say it say lord help me father teach me give me the right words give me the right like the right the right way to express myself sometimes <laughs> god is good the Lord is good. Let me let me not derail. Let me look at the next thing we are going to talk about from here. Yeah. So I want to talk about sin consciousness and the believer. Now I've I've spoken about people on the outside, how they judge and condemn and why all of that is not good. But now we are going to talk about you as a believer and sin consciousness. You know, there's something about the Nigerian church, not every church, but most of the churches in Nigeria. One of the things that the pastors hammer on almost every Sunday is about sin. And you know that when you hear something over and over again, over and over again, yes, you're born again, but over and over again, you go to church, your pastor says, you are a sinner, you are a sinner, you are a sinner. There is no way you will begin to believe the word of God that says you have been made, you have been made righteous in Christ Jesus. And let me tell you something: sin consciousness, you being conscious that oh, today I don't want to steal. Today I don't want to lie. Today, <laughs> today I don't want to fornicate. Today I don't. You will fall. The way you will fall, eh? It will be very very shocking to you. But when you are conscious of the righteousness of the whole, like the righteousness of <laughs> the righteousness of God on your inside and every day you wake up you're declaring it I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus and I live above sin the Bible says in Romans is it Romans 5 verse 1 let me be sure that is the correct scripture mm -hmm. the Bible says in Romans 6 verse 1 it says that Shall we continue in sin, therefore that grace may abound? The answer is of course no. The answer is of course no. So when you understand that the grace of God has been given to you, that now you have been made righteous, there is no way you will continue living in sin. When sin comes, you have the word of God and you declare that I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And if, if, if not, you go and you jump into sin, hear me well. If per adventure you fall into sin, what do you do? Do you just go back and become like you condemn yourself? You yourself, you condemn yourself. And it makes you ineffective in your Christian work. You cannot minister. You cannot serve. You cannot pray in tongues. You cannot read your Bible. Why? Because you are condemning yourself. You are partnering with the enemy to condemn yourself and tell yourself that, Oh, I am a sinner. The Bible says what? As a believer, hear me well, as a believer, one who has confessed Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, now you have been made the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Set your focus on Christ Jesus. And as you set your focus on him, as you set your eyes on him, you will see that those that appetite for sin, you just see, you are not trying to stop sinning. You live above it. You live above it. The Bible says we are seated in Christ Jesus. Like we have been seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Far above all principalities, powers and dominions. Far above every sin. Far above every accusation of the enemy. Far above anyone pointing fingers at you. Far above your thoughts, your imaginations, the voices in your head condemning you. The Lord wants you free. 
What is the reason the Lord wants us free? The word forgiveness in the Greek comes from the word affects Is it affects is or affects you? I'll look for example on the screen. But what it means is freedom. God doesn't want you to live in guilt. He doesn't want you to live in guilt because he knows it will affect your effectiveness in your place of service, in your walk with God. Focus on Christ. Focus on him. Focus on him. And let every weight drop. Let every weight drop as a result of your eyes on him, as a result of your belief in the word of God. And when you sin, you, you acknowledge that you, you are falling and you just say, Lord, I receive. I take hold of forgiveness and I move and understand that the Father has forgiven you. The Bible says as far as the east is from the west, the north from the south, that is how God has separated you from your sin. And if you look at east and west, can they ever meet? Can they ever meet? Answer me. Can they meet? They cannot meet. They can't. They can't. You guys, please like this video. Subscribe. Share. I'm begging you share. We are in the name of Jesus. We have reached five thousand subscribers. We have crossed it. We have been we have been monetized. Share this video. Like it. Drop a comment. Drop a comment on a scripture that tells you about no condemnation. No condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it blessed you as much as it blessed me. I hope you gained something from it. At least you learned one thing from it. It's always a delight to share God's word with you. It's always, always a delight. You people, I love you guys. Oh, I do. I love you guys so much. And please pray for me that the Lord keeps embracing me, giving me the right words, giving me more insight, helping me to manage my time well and all of that. I love you guys until my next video. Catch up on the other videos on Dear Young Adult and share them. Love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. Bye. Yeah.